Hey family, it's Julie Zipper, and good news, I have four CDs up on iTunes now covering everything from abundance to love. So go to iTunes, do a search for Julie Zipper, and have a look-see, and tell me what you think. Hello, my brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another episode of Meditation Vibration. I'm your Mindful Cruise Director, Julie Zipper, and here we are, Sun and Gemini, Chapter 2. What are we talking about? We're talking about being the messenger, and guess what? That is you. You are a messenger. You have come here bringing a message to Earth, and we all need you to bring it and to bring it big, and to bring it passionately, and to bring it fully, without judging yourself, without limiting yourself, without being in fear or lack. Ah, can you do it? Can you dig it? Can you touch what that is inside of you? Can you, can you touch upon what your message is? So last week, that's what we talked about, is what is your message? So this week, what I would like to invite you to do over the next seven days is to really look at how your message is being expressed in your daily life or is not being expressed in your daily life. So for instance, let's say if I'm a messenger of joy. Actually, I do believe that that's one of my messages is joy, okay? Uh, bring in the joy. So my first invitation for you is watching your languaging. Is your message coming forth in your languaging? So for me, am I being joyful in my communication? Am I being joyful with my language? Or is my language limiting? Am I putting lots of shoulds in there? Is my language filled with fears, can'ts, couldn't have, limitations, all that stuff that feels constrictive and uh, uh, refining? Is that the right word? Maybe not, you let me know. <laughs> so first I want you to look at your languaging. Your languaging is so powerful. This is one of our greatest creative tools is our word. Let there be light. It's the first words in the Bible. This is a word. Let there be light. Using their words, using his words, using her words, using its words, whatever you want to say. Let there be light. Communication. The second invitation that I have for you is in your physical appearance. I'm talking about your actual physical body and I'm talking about how you present yourself to the world. Is your message being conveyed in that? If one of my messages is being a bringer of joy on this planet, do I feel that way in my physical body? Or am I actually in pain? Am I in some sense of self-flagellation or self-hatred towards my body? Okay? Or am I joy-filled? Am I doing that which brings my actual physical body joy? Running, playing, swimming, doing whatever brings it joy. And no judgments here, okay? There's no right or wrong. There's no you gotta look one particular way, okay? It's what is serving this message within you. And also take a look at how you present yourself. You know, if my message is joy, am I schlubby and all, you know, schlubbed out? Or am I bringing that spirit even to the way that I present myself to the world? Again, no right or wrong. So we have language, we have um, your physical presentation to the world, and then I also want you to look in your relationships. Are you bringing your message to your relationship, or are you expecting that person to bring it out of you? That's a really good question to examine. Are you looking for the outside world to bring this message out of you, or to be the bearer of that message? Or are you stepping boldly forward and being that messenger, no matter what the relationship looks like, savory, unsavory, arguments, joy, bliss, whatever, can you bring your message to it all? And this is love relationships, family, friends, work, it's within all of it. And finally, in your creative work pursuits, are you bringing your message here? Or are you giving in to false beliefs, limiting beliefs, Oh, I can't give my message yet. I have to get this degree. I have to be successful in order to give my message. I have to wait for this or wait for that. Don't allow the outside world to determine you bringing your message. You bring it. We need it. You bring it. You bring that message. <laughs> okay, guys, let's turn within for a meditation. And so three breaths, please. Deep breaths in with your first breath, letting go of stress, holding on, tension in your physical body. 
With your next breath, letting go of stress, tension, holding on in your mental body. And with that last breath, letting go of stress, tension, holding on in your emotional body. And for this meditation, I want you guys to dream big. Contemplate your message. What are you here to bring this earth, this life experience? And I want you to see yourself in your languaging, in your physical image to the world, in your physical body, in your relationships, and in your career and creative pursuits, being the messenger that you are. And see how any of those things shift or change or grow or expand and visualize each one fully seeing what it's like to be in that full expression of who you are that full messenger role have fun with this play with this anytime you feel constriction interesting notice just take note be aware what's that going on do I believe that I can't do that? Do I believe in some sort of false belief? And just continue to play in this way. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week. Live, love, be. So garden,